Georgia O'Keeffe was born in 1887 in Wisconsin. She attended art school from 1905 until 1908. She then taught art in South Carolina and Texas. She started creating abstract artwork in charcoal. She was one of the very first American artists to practice abstraction. She then began painting flowers, landscapes, and desert art. Georgia O'Keeffe is one of the most significant and intriguing artists of the 20th century, known internationally for her boldly innovative art. Her distinct flowers, dramatic cityscapes, glowing landscapes, and images of bones against the stark desert sky are iconic and original contributions to American modernism. We just looked at work by Georgia O'Keeffe. So we're gonna be making our own piece of art today that is a landscape. A landscape is a picture of something that's outside. Um, all landscapes have a horizon line and the horizon line goes across your paper, kind of like when you're at the beach and you're standing on the sand and you look way far out in the ocean and it looks like the ocean touches the sky or the water touches the sky. That line that you see that goes straight across as far out as you can see is called the horizon line. So we're going to start. You can do your horizon line anywhere on your paper that you want. But we're going to draw a line across our paper. We're going to add some hills or mountains in our paper. They can be whatever size that you want them to be. So the land is going to be above, and then we're going to do water down here. Behind these mountains, we're going to do a sunshine. So you're just going to draw a circle. And we're going to do the rays that come out. And we're going to take those rays all the way the edge of our paper. We're going to do a design with our Sharpies for this picture. So you want to use your lines to go all the way out. To the edge of your paper. I'm going to turn this one a little bit. Once you have the rays of your sun done, we're going to stop with our pencil and get our Sharpie. And we're going to go ahead and trace on top of our pencil lines that we have so far. Go ahead and get your pencil and erase any pencil lines that you have showing. Once you have that done, we're going to use our Sharpie to give some extra detail to our picture. So in this mountain, we're just going to add some extra lines just to give it some detail. And then in our water, we can add 
some waves that come up with some detailed lines and then kind of looks like a C right now. You're basically just using your Sharpie to give your drawing some details and some interesting things for the viewer to look at. And I'm just adding lines in the middle just to give it some extra details. In the background where this water is, we're just going to do some straight lines across, just like our horizon line. Just so it looks kind of like the water. Much like when you go to the beach and you look out, the waves are right at your feet, but way far out where the water meets the sky. It looks very calm and flat. We're going to use some watercolor to give color to this landscape picture. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to start with the sun. We're going to get our brush. Remember to make sure it's super wet. I'm going to start with my lightest color first. So I'm going to start with some yellow, making sure it's really wet. I'm going to paint in my sun. Since the sun should remind you of warm colors, you can use all kinds of different warm colors on this sunshine. I always start with my lightest color first, so I'll do yellow first, then orange, and then some reds. Those are all warm colors. They should remind you of the sun. Once you have some warm colors done, You can go back in and add some more orange. You can dip into the yellow so they're kind of mixed a little. Just to give them a good blend. Water will help you blend them. They can be light colored, they can be darker. The less water you use, the darker your color will be. And the more water you use, the lighter that color will be. So you don't necessarily have to stay in the lines. All these colors can kind of mix together. We'll add some reds in there. It's almost like a sunset. If you want to add in some different colors, they can mix in. Just using whatever yellows and oranges that you want. To fill in this whole sunshine. So it kind of starts to look like a sunset.
So once you have your sunset done, we're going to start grabbing some different shades of green to color in our mountains. So just kind of like how we did the sun, we're going to use green, different shades all over this mountain to give it some detail. blend it all together while we work. Once you have your mountains done, we're going to use some blues and purples for the water. So you can use all kinds of different, just exactly how we've done everything else. We're just going to kind of blend all these colors together. So you can just pick a color, put it somewhere on your paper in the water. Then you may want a different color blue, just a little bit of a lighter blue that I'm using. Just going in and filling in some of the white spots. Blues and greens and purples are all cool colors, so that's why we're using them for the land and the water. You can put in some purples or some bluish purples. Then also go back once this is dry and add in some more details or designs with your Sharpie like polka dots, zigzags really whatever you want. You could color this in with some crayons or markers and still try to use different colors to blend. I'm going to go in with some purple now and just do some extra little detail on top of my blues. Just to give it some variety. And there you have a landscape. Great job, guys.